So second tutorial, we still want to do this character here. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, I think so. we're going to do it. So last tutorial, I showed you how in Illustrator, everything had to be done. Everything had to be drew. Remember, everything had to be on its own layer. So everything that is that have to be animated have to be on its own layer. So that, that, was, that was the important thing in Illustrator. Uh, so I had one layer for my leg, one layer for my feet, one layer for my forearm, and so on and so on. So back in After Effects, um, what I need to do is to import that. To, to, you might be on the welcome screen, you might be on this screen, doesn't matter. You're going to go File, and you're going to go New, and you're going to be, you're going to go New Project, and then you're going to save that project. So File, Save, Save As. Uh, you're going to save this project in the same folder as you did before here, stick figure here. So I'm going to go stick and I'm there okay so that's that's just saving stuff at first I recommend often saving because um, after effects really consuming in terms of resources so it may crash and then I'm going to import my character here in my new project so I'm going to go file import import file and then I'm going to go take my little list illustrator file that I've done before so look up okay I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pick composition keep uh size of the layers that's important okay because otherwise it will be a nightmare to uh to do animation with that so go I import file come and I pick the middle one composition keep layer size okay then I go okay it might be that nothing changed it doesn't seem that nothing changed it it created a composition in fact see on your project here uh, in your project panel you have a little icon that's stick figure and you got the little folder with all your layers so you just go and if you want to animate that stick figure you just double click on the composition and you have the timeline of the composition in after effects every every like little movie every every clip it's a separate composition okay so uh, it's like a scene if you go scene one scene two like uh, uh, some uh, close up and then uh, and then a uh, um, uh, large large plan and you you know everything's going to be a composition so let's start with that uh, i have all my layers here on separate on separate thing um, this this will be my base my my character that i may use also in different compositions so because I'm, I might do some close up on my character. I may, I may, I may have my character walking, moving, dancing. It will all be separate composition, but I have to fix my character first. I have to do some sort of a, uh, of, of a, of a skeleton of my character so that when my arm is moving, okay, my, my, my hand move too, because now if I move my arm, see first, it moved from the middle and my head doesn't move with it so that's my my hand doesn't move with it so that that's bad okay we need we need the 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 uh we need the hand to move along with the um with the uh the the the, the, the forearms and the shoulders so i'm gonna take that uh import and keep that here and i'm gonna go in my character so let's go with that okay um so what we have to do is create the skeleton so i'm going to lock my background here i'm going to just press my lock on my background layer because i don't want to hit the background everything i move every time i move something and i'm going to create parents okay so for instance the feet okay um the feet first it moved from the ankle right so i'm going to zoom in order to zoom you need to, to use those thing here or you can use your mouse if your mouse have a if you have a magic mouse for instance you may just uh uh you may just slide on the on the mouse or you can you can use that and you can use the space bar to move your character so see here this this is the axis of rotation i gotta put that on the ankle so i'm gonna take this little tool which is the anchor point movement and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put my uh, uh, I'm gonna put that right where I want my ankle to move. I can use I can take the rotation tool after just to check if everything's in order there. And then I could just hit Command Z to to go back. So I need that for my feet. I need that for every part of the body. Okay. I need to place the 
and I, I zoom quite big because I I gotta be uh, I, I gotta be good on that you know I gotta be very I gotta be very I gotta act with precision because otherwise animation is gonna be a mess so I gotta place exactly like the rotation point on my knees and then I tend to go um, bottom up okay because like the leg will move from the body here so I place that right in the middle I click I place that right in the middle here here's the axis of rotation then the body okay body's got to be right at the bottom like that okay and then the arm here I know that it's long and tedious but you know you gotta you gotta go every step of the way to make it right okay and then forearms as really the shoulder here and you you gotta make that before you animate the character that's really the important thing because you cannot fix that once the animation is done it's uh it's almost impossible to move anchor point once the animation is done it's really make a mess uh, out of everything so here the uh other anchor point and there the hand the anchor point here then i'm moving i'm moving i'm moving i'm moving i'm taking the head and this is the basic here anchor point the mouth i can leave my anchor point in the middle because the mouth will move like that so mouth eyes it can all stay uh at the center by default it's at the center so that's that's all good once i've done all that okay i still have to have the element move uh um, in conjunction with each other so for instance when I'm taking the arms, okay, so now it's right. It's moving right because it's moving accordingly to the uh, to the shoulder. So I fix my my uh, my my axis of rotation, but it doesn't take the hand when it's moving. So I gotta do that, okay. So I gotta fix the parent. So that's uh that's uh, that's the important thing here. Uh, we gotta do that before we uh, we animate. So here we go. I'm gonna start bottom up. So I'm going to take the feet here and I'm going to go, the feet go with lower leg, right? The feet go with lower leg. And then I'm going with lower leg and I'm, I'm taking this little spiral thing here and I can relate that to upper leg. And then I take upper leg and I relate that to the body. You see the difference right now. See now if I'm taking the upper leg and I'm moving the upper leg, see it move my whole leg now i have now i have my my skeleton that is okay so i'm gonna do that for the whole character sometimes it, it's confusing i know so that this is why i go bottom up so i'll go like yeah, find my outer feet uh, where is my feet uh, right feet is there and this is why i i had to uh name my my uh layer uh correctly see because it's it's getting quite confusing if not now i'm gonna test that i'm gonna i'm gonna choose my upper leg i'm gonna move my upper leg yes it's moving okay it's moving all good uh body i have nothing to do because the body is at the center okay so i don't relate the body to anything else everything is related to the body and then I'm going to go with the hand, hand right, and I'm going to go with lower arms right, lower arms right to upper, upper arms right, and then upper arms to the body. And then if I move the upper arm, what it does, it, it move the arm and the um and the and the upper arm and the hand so that's good that's good that's good we're getting there we're getting there so upper arm i'm gonna go with my uh, uh, did i've done that i'm talking i'm talking but no i haven't done that so i'm gonna go upper arm left arm left to the arm to the lower arm left so it's just to take the little thingy here lower arm left. i can i can also use 
the menu okay here so I can go lower lower arm to um, upper uh, upper arm and then I can go upper arm left here to the body you can go like that if you're more comfortable I personally like this this thing with uh, with a little here we go okay see it was not good so I uh, it was not good because I took the, the, the menu and I didn't like the menu so hand the hands gonna go with lower arm left lower arm left is gonna go with upper arm left upper arm left gotta go to the body am I okay yes now I'm good now I'm gonna go with the head so the head is related to the body quite simply the hair if I've done a separate layer for my hair is related to oh no sorry the hair is related to the head the mouth is related to the head the left eye is related to the head the right eye is related to the head the left pupil is related to the head so and the right pupil is not sorry the pupil is related to the eyes so left pupil left eyes so once you've done you know you can move your your character around a little bit just to make sure that everything's okay so normally if you take the body and you move the body your whole character should move and then if you take your um your your uh your upper arm it should move the whole arm so move a little around like that just to make sure that everything is in order here and then you're ready to animate your character